surprise for, for everyone involved. Navi for sure would be surprised, and I think Enterprise would probably be like, okay, yeah, yeah. we'll take this. We'll roll with the punches. Yeah, definitely so. Um, Enterprise, I've seen throughout the years, they've had a lot of different teams. I think they play in the, the V4 countries they've generally okay. gone for. So you know, there's been Polish players, Czech players, Slovakian players, um, and we've seen them at the, the V4 festival years ago. So this is a team that like to pick up players from, from this region, and I was interested to see that they went full Polish. So maybe there is a, an idea to be had here in, in Enterprise. We'll have an upset versus Na'Vi. We'll have to wait and see, but Na'Vi starting the CT side of a Mirage. All right, Enterprise, first impressions are everything, and I think there's probably a lot of people out there who, like me, this is going to be your first impression of Enterprise. Yes. So let's see what in you got. In a live environment. In a course. live environment. Ima. It's been so fantastic to start the day. See Whoop. if that can continue. Wonderful. So sharp on that headshot. It, JL trying to chime in from the window with him. And he must now just drop it back into connector. This is a brawl in middle, and as you would expect, in a Mirage pistol. And uh, it's going Navi's way. Tau did get one, but deleted afterwards. There's friend popping up, but the bomb's dropped in middle. Now, this is deceptive. It's a 1v3, but, but Wonderful and Alexi are so incredibly low. Let's see if Enterprise has got a friend in this clutch, 1v3 into jungle he will run, and he's running into the high HP player of JL. If he drops him first, if he gets a clean headshot yep. on him, you've got a 1v2 up against low pistols, but unfortunately he went around the corner, not looking at him. So yeah. JL had the easy headshot. Probably wouldn't have expected him to just, well, definitely didn't expect him to be in that corner, but nice opening kills, and Navi challenging in middle every step of the way, making sure Enterprise can't find any space up, can't walk any space towards Khan. Wonderful starts out with that wonderful headshot. And then it's nice and easy trading as things go down the stretch. Alexi B. This is his time to shine, getting through to the major and bringing a Navi squad with a bunch of young, talented players at the helm. Obviously, he's had a lot of criticisms over the years, but he's had a pretty good track record at, at majors. You know, 2019, but at the final. Criticism's always been like kind of, the criticism at him has always been kind of like weird though, because I feel like I've never gotten like a concrete reason why people don't, you know, his previous teams didn't, didn't want to mess in IGL. I still to this day, I'm like, why didn't you want to keep him? You know, like, why didn't like, these, the G2 one, I'm like, I'm still these various about teams, that. like, well, what was going on? That was so, that was so off. Either way, he's got a fantastic record against all the teams that cut him, so. Yeah, true. Cool. He's like, he has this little revenge streak in him. Never been cut by Enterprise, though, so. True, that's unfortunate. Wonderful. Takes out Friend. What a, what a sick name. Friend. Counter-Strike Friend. And by me. I've got an undecent authority. And it's this. Demo. The H is silent. Dem demo. He's yeah. just added a letter in there. Yeah, well, Jason, there's other languages in the world. True. This is true. Not just American. <laughs> Was that your American depression? Yeah. Is that what we sound like? Yeah, you just talk through the notes. That's messed up, man. Oh, jumping up through connector JL. Oh, it should be clean kills, and he does clean up. A lot of FAMAS around today. We don't always love the FAMAS, but JL makes it look clean, looks really easy, and it's now 2 to 0. Navi started well. No bomb plan for Enterprise. No, not even close, but they didn't invest a whole lot in that previous round, so to be expected. The AKs come out this time, and now we've got smokes, we've got some Molotovs, we've got things that can block off the window, prevent these peaks from coming in, mollies that can hold off cat pushes and flashbangs. We've got it all. We've got everything. Everything. We want all the bells, whistles, AKs, Galils. The whole shop's been bought out for round three. A quick step towards the A bomb side for Enterprise, just I, one player in middle. I like this though, I, I like that Enterprise is starting out simple. Like four players towards A, one guy going middle just to throw out utility, he's gonna come back to the A bomb side. it's gonna be a standard set piece. But we see so often teams that spread out in defaults and just kind of get picked apart and like really try and force that style. So Enterprise is just gonna try and knock the, the door down and get into the site and uh, it's not working. Yeah, well, starting out simple. Simple nowhere to be seen on either side of the server. hey -o. And now it's... Probably going to be a long-term save. Unless... Palace player of By Me can get out. Maybe he can grab a headshot or maybe Tau from Tetris. You're just hoping to catch a headshot into one of these 
unsuspecting players, but that element of surprise is now lost. Wonderful getting set up, blinded, not comfortable whatsoever here for Wonderful and Imma. And just like that, Tao in the double, bind me with one. And oh my god, Navi, there it's in a 2v3, a position they shouldn't have found themselves in at all. But Utility dives down onto default. They're on a recovery mission. Flash set up off the wall. Nate goes into the firebox. Oh, double dunk. That's buying me out of that. And a swing out from Demo from the Underwood is fantastic onto JL. It's just Alexi B. And that long-term flank is coming in for Tao. He went the whole way around the connector. And Alexi B, will he consider it? Low HP if he can react on Tao. If he can get a shot to land, it will bring him down. And that's not to be the case. Tao steps up for Enterprise. I, that, that's a that's a disastrous turnaround for Nafi. The fact it's five on three, and the next three kills all go in the favor of Enterprise, and making it look easy as well. And that's a round that they shut down Plan A. They had all the money and utility in the world if you're Navi, and it puts you in this weird situation. Absolutely crazy that Enterprise brought that back. Yeah. It's one of those rounds where, you know, Navi it's, do make mistakes and that allows them into the game. And I think, I, I'm not, I think, I mean, I'd have to see the round back to like really get Wonderful a good consideration. Kind of got well, I'm, these peaks in the five on three aren't really needed. Like these ones right here, like you don't need to be swinging and taking that fight, like force them to, the, like, especially with the knowledge that they just tried to throw up like a, an A execute. So you have that smoke at top stairs, you have the smoke in jungle. Usually there's no smokes left, like for the follow up execute, right? Like after you stall that first one out, there's no utility. So you're kind of swinging into fights, which is exactly the only way they can get back into the round. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I would see Blade's face right there. Just like, <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't too happy with that round. Let's stand behind now, V back in Katowice just to kind of hear some of the comms and their dynamic. Obviously, speaking in English now is quite interesting to stand behind and, and hear who is like vocal inside of the team. All right, let's see it. Let's see if that round is just going to be like a hiccup. Yeah. Or if it's going to be more of like an actual like speed bump, like if it's, if it's going to hurt. Like, is that just like something that shouldn't have happened and we're going to correct it? Or do you lose this round, lose all the weapons and money and then have to kind of fight your way back into it? It's not the best weapons for Na'Vi, but they're in the hands of strong players. They've softened up, exist. Top con smoke goes in. Grenade been pulled. The window jump up coming in. Imma is about to shut this down, surely. Unless the positioning is just to get Tao on the ledge, and that's exactly what's happened. Oh, it's so well played to allow that kill in the window, and JL cannot sink the kill. Bit goes into the ramp. This could be chaos if Bit can make something work here on the MP9. <laughs> Maybe one for one if he's lucky. Yeah. Maybe if he's lucky. But both players looking at that smoke fade, and now it's all on Wonderful. We know he's definitely the top player of this team. He swings out into the open. It's just one kill for Wonderful off the top of Tetris. All right, it's a speed bump, officially. This is this is now a problem. Navi's going to lose everything. Good kill on the bomb planner, but... Time. Not, Limited time. Nah, he's not winning oh. this. He's not getting away. They're swinging around him. It's all good. Enterprise got no sweat. Two Sometimes to two. hiccups are persistent, too. What's that? Sometimes hiccups are persistent, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a good point. Sometimes they just don't go away, yeah. do they? Nope. <laughs> I, I once experienced some trauma <laughs> when I was younger watching the news, and there was this guy who had hiccups, it would just never leave him. And he just lived an entire life of sadness and yeah, pain. Yeah, isn't there like some crazy records of like how long people have had hiccups? Yeah, this guy's had it for years. And I'm like, oh, that, that terrified me. Yeah, if I had that, like every time I get the hiccups as a kid, I was just worried that that was going to happen to me. <laughs> this is just my life now. <laughs> but I thought I found like a, a reset. And it's like, if you if you swallow seven times, like you drink water and you take seven small swallows. All right, chill. I've been listening to these. these... No, no, but I've done it my whole okay. life and it works. All right. For me, at least. What is it? Swallow seven times? Yep. Sip Ev of water? Everyone, if you've got the hiccups at home right now, try this and let, let us know if it works. Oh, the so next time you get it. Drink from the opposite side of the glass. That one works too. All right, Jason's just lying. But I'm telling the truth. It's, it's science. Demo. Oh, good headshot. Second in too. And Navi have an AK-47 in the hands of Bit. That wouldn't be a bad save. I think at this point, he's still got a little faith they can turn this round, knowing there's a couple stuck in Khan. Good find from Alexi over the smoke. Saw one jump. Oh, and he converts that oh killer. Alexi does. And we're back on, baby. But we AK-47s. That's a little bit of money in the bank. No kit. That too. So, run away. Enter. 
Enterprise, though. They're fighting against Malvi, and I love it. It's cool to see. I mean, the RMRs are saying in the green room just before that. A lot of the excitement over the last few RMRs has been just crazy shenanigans going down on day one, right? You're seeing, like, the top teams lose the teams outside the top 100. Yeah, like, it starts at, like, a 10 when you see, like, a top five team get upset in the RMR. Yeah, exactly. And then you see, like, substitutes, mid-tournaments, all this craziness. FaZe versus Cloud9 and the battle of who was going to miss out in the last ever CSGO major. Shira's crying. Uh, you know, there's so much going on. Uh, but at this RMR, it's... So far, I've been very tame. Well, the nice thing about like the, the EU RMR is we have so many good teams in Europe that we get that last chance qualifier as well. So there's two RMRs and there's the last chance run. So we got plenty of drama coming. We just gotta gotta let it build up. Yeah, last year, last RMR, it was FaZe versus Cloud9 in that last game of the last chance That qualifier. was pretty wild, yep. Uh, I think FaZe went up 2-0 in the RMRs. So they were like one game away from making it through 3-0 into the major. And then they somehow lost every other game. Yeah. Got <laughs> like two and three and then had to play the, the last chance qualify. Carrigan stayed around the whole time. A couple of players went home for a bit and I just remember seeing him every day just stressed. Stressed for the whole week and they were still able to pull it off. It was quite the journey they went on and oh, made yeah. it to the playoffs. So the Tournament experience is real rough on players and especially IGLs and especially coaches with everything that goes into it and especially a tournament like this that dictates so much qualifying for the major. Robin's like, I'm piecing out from the coaching role, yeah, guys. He's like, I'm good. I'm going to go into management. He's here at this event, so... Oh, that's cool. He's walking around. Ooh, B rush. Yeah, very quick play. Demo jumping out, Mac 10. That's going to be a kill for the likes to be inside of the site. Exist one back. Could be plenty more here for the T's because Navi are locked out by utility. A wonderful is severed off of his teammates. He's still going for a fight. Oh, it's long. His labor, but eventually it is a kill. On to buy me. It's a winnable situation though for Enterprise on this retake. Needs to land that shot. Oh, the recoil brings the aim up way too high. Friend and Tau against the world. And Navi's about to come streaming in. Flashes up for Tau. Decides that sitting back might not be the best call. Wants to try and get active, but that smoke is huge. So he couldn't get around the other side of it. And now he's in an awkward fight. It's short, one that will not go his way. And it's all on friend. And it's just one kill as Navi make the retake work. They tie up this game three to three. But you can see the danger. I mean, that's just a that's just a B pop, a B rush right out of the gate, and it caught Navi completely off guard. Alexia had to drop the Molotov blind and just get into some semblance of safety and hope for some cover from Catwalk. But if Enterprise can get like one or two of those to go their direction throughout this half, it's going to be not a bad scoreline when all things are said and done. Yeah, this fight probably should have gone Tower's way. Just couldn't control the guard and hose at range. And they're putting a lot of emphasis on this early game. The second time out used, mm -hmm. going into the seventh round as well. I like it because it feels like if Enterprise lose control of the first half at any point, there's, there's a great chance that Navi just take control of the game. Well, also, I mean, the entire thing of MR12, right? Like, catch some momentum, catch some fire early on, force out a reset, which they've already done once. You force out a second one, and that, that's your half. You're golden. You're, you're great. Yeah, exactly. And Enterprise have that opportunity ahead of them, but it will start to run thin because their money is starting to drain. This is really the last the last chance they have at it. After this, if, if Navi's able to start growing that money against weaker buys, then then yeah, it kind of kind of disappears. Then you've got a hard fought grindy half on it, and that's exactly what Navi want. It's exactly what Enterprise don't want. Wonderful's up short. He made the jump. And uh, Nate thrown in by his teammates to give him some vision. He hasn't seen anything top mid, and that's because there's pressure towards the beat bomb side with a majority of players here. Enterprise just trying to change the position of Alexi B. They've done that effectively. They forced the utility out as well. There's three player or two players addressing mid directly. JL is there as well to swing towards window or con if he wants to, whenever he wants to provide some support. But they forced that defensive smoke out of the hands of Alexi. I don't know if Wonderful realizes one cross. Oh, it's that. that is a disgusting flick, even though it doesn't get the kill. Yeah, that's not so wonderful. Those right flicks are more difficult than the left flicks, too, and he's hit it right to the legs. But it could create an opportunity now for Enterprise to get up through connector. If they're doing a really good job of like of standing tall and fighting right back at these setups at the moment. This can still be a really tough situation for Navi. Enterprise is going to wheel all the way around to the A bomb site, and that that last player at A bit. 
Everyone has shifted elsewhere. You still have Alexi on catwalk. They You've know got where he is with the the smoke. But Wonderful's transition to the what? off. Ooh, with, at B. That should allow them to put more rifles over towards the A bomb site, and they haven't quite transitioned all the way over into that thought process. Oh, here comes Bit through jungle. He's going to have to change up his position, and JL's going back towards Ticket. They're trying to boost this off. We've seen this move from a couple of teams. It can be pretty successful, just giving you a deep angle to spot the head at ticket box, but they don't see anything. Instead, they'll use utility, and Enterprise have 10 seconds no, to get that bomb down, and they, they just don't have the time to do it. Yeah, I don't know if they lost track of time or it just like second thought it and then said, you know what, this is a bad idea, but it took a little too long for them to come to fruition, and that'll be the round in the favor of Navi. Four players surviving, but a good amount of pressure applied from Enterprise in that round. It's not, the problem is now... The two players that died don't have any money. Yeah, so. your buy is really scattered, so you're almost forced to invest in this round, even if you don't necessarily want to, but just, just too many resources already in play and no bonus money picked up for them. So we'll rinse and repeat, this time with less weaponry, with less utility. Coming through loud and clear, baby. Yep, yeah, there's Polish comms. Palace pick. It's wonderful in the underpass, and well, Price player ceases to exist. A big opening for Wonderful. He'll fall away into the side of the connector. Doesn't stick around, doesn't go for a re peek. It's no opportunity to trade, but if he goes too rotation. far, oh, good jump to get info. <laughs> now, Demo strikes into action, sees Alexi B. Alexi B's not jumping again, he changes that position up. Called. He's called JL back from Catwalk, though, to give him a little bit more support. Alexi out of utility, so JL's got to dispense his to keep them at bay. And that's pressure that's been applied a couple of times now, and that might be something that Enterprise go back to later on in the half. Three players inside, or towards the A-bomb site, two inside of the ramp, one in Palace. Ready to go. Enterprise ran out of time in the previous round. It can't do that again. Wonderful. Fits, and what a flick up. That is so quick from Wonderful. And he knows there's a second player there because that player was boosted. And Bits just got eyes on Palace, knowing that his teammates can watch the rest of the site. Smokes are up. Bit feels uncomfortable now, so he'll drop under the wood. We'll focus on Smoke, see if a player climbs up over the top of Tetris or jumps down into the sandwich. At this point, it's just one by one. Enterprise being picked apart, and their opportunity to stay competitive in this first half seems to have come to Ooh. a close. Okay. Oh, maybe it's reopened because Tau on that double 10 seconds. That's the problem. Limited time. Has to get across to default, and he knows he's got to plant now. Nope. He's got to start planting, but he's run out of time, and it's so frustrating for him. Kill him after. He's got to hide, he's got to stay alive, and they're chasing down after him. Imma, oh, he's taking him out after, there's no time. $350 left. Some good shots, though, from Tao with that off, but yeah, really unfortunate. And now now their money's really thrown to hell. I it's mean, almost bad that he got both of those kills, because then yeah. he actually felt like, oh, I can go for it. It lured him into the clutch attempts. Yeah, yeah this, this is weird money situation now, too. I mean, just to add that, you're a little outmatched in terms of individuals, in terms of team, and then you add out like the, the economic disorganization you now have due to all the saves that have, that have happened. Weird, weird times for Enterprise. Yeah, Tao bought a smoke, and that's the end of his investment. <laughs> no, he could buy a decoy, I guess, but down to $50. I don't even know if it's worth it in this scenario. All you've got are deagles and pistols. Just just save it. We did have an Enterprise player drop, so we're going to have a, uh, a little bit of a tech pause in the action as that gets fixed and resolved, and then we'll be right back in it. Right back in it. Enterprise are hoping they can get Right back into this game, but, but I, it also feels like they, they've w missed that window of opportunity where, like, they they had it. They were they were so it, it was so important to their game plan to have like that early jump, that early lead, that early advantages. Yeah, challenging the econ in terms of the economy because they knew Navi was maybe at a breaking point or getting to a breaking point, and I think it's gone the other direction now. And I think now they're sitting in that timeout where they can't speak to one another, and the rounds that. Of course, in the sort of beginning of this game, we're probably whirling through their minds. It's a good time to process your emotions, yeah. <laughs> process yeah. all the decisions you've made in this game up to the point. And uh, what about Alexi B is thinking about? Uh, Cheetos. Cheetos. The hot, spicy kind. No, just regular. Alexi B has something to prove this major. If he can bring this team 
deep into the major, that would be really, really impressive, especially because, you know, simple as publicly announced, there might be a return coming in. Who, where's that going to be? Who's yeah, that's a weird for? one, isn't it? And that probably has maybe lit a fire under a couple of players on this team to maybe step up. Well, I mean, it's interesting because, I mean, they were another team sort of like VP that, that had, like, with, with some of the improvements they'd made, started impressing enough to get some people to think they could make playoffs in Katowice and obviously missed out on that one. Um, but would have been... It was the Falcons, right? Was the game that the Navi were playing that they lost the, the spot to? So, yep. yeah, that's frustrating for them. JL has the issue. I don't know. Shrug that one off. He looks confused. He's like, yeah, whatever, bro. Get <laughs> <laughs> out of my game in space. He sits with a very low desk. Yeah, it really does. Wow. Where we, actually, maybe his is normal. True. <laughs> the other Potentially. One just seems extremely high. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's at the nipple line, Jason. That's, that's a little too high up. <laughs> yeah? You don't, you don't like that one? That's cool, though, that they like players have adjustable desks these days. Yeah, we got it all. I mean, most players play like the little keyboard to the side because there wasn't enough space at Lions, right? They, they asked the reasoning for it. It's not because it's like amazing for your, your wrist or is a great angle. It's because at LAN events, there used to not be a whole lot of space for you. Yeah, back in the day. I don't know, no excuse for these younger players. Definitely not. They just, but there is, <laughs> I mean, I know for, from experience, when you're watching and you're really young and impressionable, you come up and you, you, you have no reason to play 4-3 black bars, but I mean, you start doing it. I would imagine these days, the reason you slant the monitor is to get, or slant the keyboard is to get the monitor closer. Yeah, right? yeah. There is definitely something to that, yeah, for sure. But um, at home, you should just play with a monitor stand. Like one of those ergonomic ones, sit back in the desk, you bring the monitor, you can get the keyboard under the desk. Sure, I have one of those. I'm not the biggest fan. Not the biggest fan? I, I took it down, actually. I went back. You went back to the default stand? Yeah, okay. regular stand. Okay. But I have one of those desks that's very deep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, big, big desk issues. Yeah. No one will understand. Harry, Harry plays like a freak, though. So instead of, like, switching the monitor and angling it differently and putting the keyboard to the side, he plays with the keyboard behind the monitor and the monitor at the edge of the desk directly in front of his face. Uh. And like, like the keyboard's completely around the back of it. I did I did a, a setup video with uh, with Brokey, and he plays with his keyboard half on the monitor stand and half off. Surely he's, like, moving around a lot. I don't know. He seems pretty comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he seems he seems all good. Yeah. Always seems chill. Yeah. Always seems chill. For good reason. FaZe Clan had a good start to today as well. Great start to today for for a team that's known for their step up in playoffs and stages. They've they've handled yeah. the group stage or I don't know, not group stage, but the the RMR so far, quite nicely. But they did go 2-0 up last time. True. There's always there's always a chance. So they had a 13-6 versus 9 Pandas and a 13-7 Versus Falcons, so it's getting worse for Oh, phase. yeah. That's going the wrong direction. It's going the wrong direction, yeah. Oh, dear. Next game's about to be 13-8. Bits, uh, English is coming along decently. That was something that is Simple it? said, only God can help. And so far, if I'm, like, standing behind, decent, decent enough English. Yeah, you mentioned you've been standing behind him at Katowice. What was that like? Yeah, it was cool. Hearing uh, Blade sort of be a general. You, how much information he can get out during a timeout was really impressive. Um, that was something I noticed, and uh, listening to the comms is very quiet. Like, there's no one who's like really loud and yeah. obnoxious inside of the team right now. So, pretty pretty chill team. Probably just all just listen to to Alexi B. Yeah, that desk is high. It's it's yeah, it's high. Not not the other ones low. Yeah, exactly. It's all about perspective. All about perspective here in. Book a rush for the Copenhagen RMRs. Maybe it's both. Maybe that one's high and the other one's low. A little bit of both. It's it's uh, definitely definitely a mixture. Wonderful. Yeah. Stepping into the big old shoes of simple. Not to be the next simple, but the first wonderful. A line from Machine. I did enjoy that because it's true. I mean, he is coming in as a, a young player who's had some time and spirit. Um, and, and has a little bit of a different role in Na'Vi. Chopper was saying that in the sort of behind-the-scenes vlog that I was listening to, that he's noticed that Wonderful actually has uh, a bit of a different role than what he was used to seeing in Team Spirit. Um, and I think it's more of a mature role for this player. I imagine there's a whole lot of new things that he's that he's dealing with on Na'Vi. Obviously, the, the, the international lineup and English-speaking and different role changes and different in IGL and different philosophies that he's encountering and now with, with the mixture of sorry, expectations. Thing. Sure, you can go down the list. Go down the list. 
Well, your phones are going back in. We did get word it's a Steam server issue that's causing the problems that they're down and the player can't reconnect to the server. What so. day is it, Jason? Oh, yes, indeed. It is a Wednesday. Is it a Wednesday? Usually the updates happen on a Wednesday, don't they? Yeah. But, so, you know, maybe Wednesday is late Wednesday, though, right? Yeah, usually it's like, actually, you're right. It's like Tuesday night, midnight into the Wednesday. I mean, that theory's out the window. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, we've, maybe we've got an update coming. Yeah, hotfix. Let us know at home what kind of updates you would like to see. You can uh, use the hashtag PGLRMR. There's a lot of giggles going on in this team. Someone told a funny joke. Oh, yeah, maybe. Well, I want to kind of listen in, hear what's going. It looks like they're having a lot more fun over the other side of things. Navi just wanting to get the job done, wanting to go to bed. Wanting, yeah, probably. Wanting... They're like, it's getting late. Yeah, it's uh, last game of the day. A little tech issue right in the middle, just as things are going swimmingly for Navi. So let's see, what did we what did we have earlier to recap some of this day? I don't think there were any real surprises that are sticking out in my head that we had in the in the results for the day. Not really. I mean, the Eternal Fire choking to G2 was a little, a little sap for them. Oh, sure. They were up and had to be pulled back to an overtime victory. That was a little staring contest. Yeah, I think that that was probably the most exciting towards the end. And uh, then NIP getting bashed around. Yeah, that's a surprise in a, in a way, in it by itself. Amcal. That's probably the big, biggest upset we've had today. Yeah, I would say so. 22-20, that one ended. We were involved in that action. <laughs> yes, we were. No 13-0. He can though. juggle. Can you juggle? No. I can't really juggle. I can, I can juggle, juggle two things. Oh, he's doing pretty good. That's not bad. Oh, my goodness. Emma? No he's wonder they picked him up. talented No, keep going. Add a fourth. Yeah, JL hasn't even known. No one's even looking at him, apart from everybody at home. Of I course. know. No one's giving him any kind of appreciation. No fist bumps. Him is trying to like rally the troops, keep everybody entertained. But nope, everyone's in their own minds, just chilling out. So Calm steam before the storm. issue. How long do you reckon a steam issue takes to fix? That's not, the fun thing, Dinko. It's they not can in last control. Anywhere from three minutes to four hundred minutes. Or we just should we just pack it up, go to come home, <laughs> come back tomorrow? Can't but, do that now. We're all the way in. That, that's the crazy thing about some sports. Like, I remember when I was younger watching the Wimbledon final. I think it was Federer versus Nadal or something like that. And it was so long, so close, that the game just kept going that they had to take a break and come back and play it the next day. I don't know how many days like uh, the longest tennis game is, but it's crazy to me that like, you can just stop the game. We, there's not enough time left in the day. We've got to come back tomorrow. Isn't that like uh, cricket has that too? Yeah, like cricket's like cricket ridiculously games? long. Yeah. <laughs> Cricket yeah. is one of those sports that's very, very long. Let me see, longest tennis match ever. It's got to be some crazy like, three day extravaganza. 11 hours, five minutes. Okay, so I must have been played over two days. Yeah. You went from long multi day yeah. extravaganza no. to 11 hours. Yeah, well, I got a reality you, check. Yeah, you've really sold me a false bill of goods with that one. Okay, so there has been a little update uh, that we've got here. So it's just a PC issue now, um, but we're getting the players back into the server. And then we'll be able to continue the action as soon as possible. We so. have the technology. Let's see. What else did we have today? Monacy got a six Zeus kill. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't seen that highlight yet. He was he like jumped down ladder on Nuke and, and Zeus. I think it was like at a pretty close score, like 7-6, and he's going for Zeus kills. So sure. that's a Monacy play. Always some lightning when the flash is involved. He's probably in like an unlosable situation, I would imagine, as well. Yeah. Yeah. And Monacy was live, so probably. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The the mouse pad is top of Reddit. All right. Is it? Mattis's mouse pad oh, is top of Mattis, Reddit. Mattis, I'm so sorry. Does anybody know the backstory of Mattis's mouse pad from Fnatic and why he doesn't change it? Well, let's dive into this thread. And see what's happening. <laughs> I'm sure there's some great answers in there. Uh, the top comment is, don't fix what ain't completely broken. And I suppose that, that That's works. That's a fair point. Because it's the only left-handed mouse pad in the world. One of a kind. That's good banter. That's, that's pretty yeah. good. That's shout pretty at the left-handed players. Well, I was about to shout out his username, Jason, but I'll show you what his name is and why I can't say it. Yeah, you can't say that one. Yeah, that's a, no. that's a bad one. You can look it up. It's probably accurate, but yeah, of course. Okay, the the Monacy clips on on here too. So nice. I'm enjoying that. That'll be some late night entertainment for me. 
I was watching uh, some donk demos recently. Okay. Uh, because, you know, we got to understand. We got to understand why right. this guy is so unplayable. And I think the main sort of question people have is like, why? Sure, we understand he's great mechanics, but why is he so hard to kill? Like, it feels like he, people can't kill him. He's always moving. He's got this sort of crazy ability just to keep jumping on his feet. And, and you have like fights against really good players that should be taking the kill, but he, he seems to have like an extra second to react. Uh, and, and so you're looking at it, and, and I was speaking to Device about it too back at Katowice in passing, and he was like, yeah, he's just got great movement. Like, he's always moving, always AD, AD. He's never standing still. And that's why like he just gets extra little seconds to react. That's why it makes it look so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a weird one watching Katowice because you were just like, he's actually just like running around killing people. Like, I, there's nothing to it. I think I can't remember which pro said it, but there was a, a, a quote, and it's, he plays like he has 400 HP. Okay. And I think that's uh, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, that's fair. Just constant confidence that he just can't be killed immediately. I'll never forget, like, after he, he uh, they beat uh, Falcons in the semifinals walking out and just seeing Zonic shake his head just, like, speechless. He was like, I don't know what's called. <laughs> I called <laughs> it. Was just, so it was just It was so timeout. funny of all people. He was like, yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't know what to call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> he was like, literally no laughing idea. after the game. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> He took it in stride, like he kind of had to. He's just like, yep, we got wrecked today, and I, I, no one knew what to do about it. Yeah, it's like we called so many different looks on the CT side, aggression, pass and play. No matter what happened, instant headshots. It's great. We've questioned Donk every step of the way, and now he gets to come into an RMR, and we get to have we get to question him on, yeah, but can he do it at the major? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we like, could just, we'll just keep going with this. We should just make a game then, show. And then the one time he doesn't do it, everyone's going to be like, told you. Yeah, we can do a game show of like, you know, just put him in these weird, crazy situations and see if he can still frag. Yeah, I, I, I'm down for that, for sure. Well, the action of the Copenhagen Major is just around the corner, really. It's crazy that we... It just felt like yesterday we were in the last CSGO Major ever. <laughs> you know, the last CSGO, the last time. <laughs> yep. And now, well, we've got a Major in CS2 just around the corner. Time flies, baby. It's, uh, it's going to be wild. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really interesting. And like, it's it's kind of cool too, because like you just see so many different teams like trying new things and trying to adapt. And some teams are struggling with it. Some teams are catching on quicker. So it is like there's like this weird, like um, like the, the hierarchy just doesn't feel like solid of teams that we have right now outside of phase making the finals. Yeah, and the major prize pool is 1.25 million. We take that. Uh, that's on the, that's according to, to the HLTV here as well. So it starts March 21st. To March 31st, 10 days of action. That's going to be uh, really fun. That's the uh, second stage. And then we obviously have the initial opening stage, which is March 17th to 20th. So 16 teams, big event and some heartbreak. We'll see if uh, Nico can get a major finally. That's that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Not, not looking like it at the, <laughs> the moment. The Nico angle, it's not looking like it at the moment. Definitely not looking like it. Not looking like we're getting into the game anytime soon either. So hopefully we can get that resolved as quickly as possible. The Asian RMR will not be hosted here. It'll be in Shanghai. We were we were here in Bucharest not so long ago. Is the broadcast out of here? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. But we were we were here not so long ago doing the CIC tournament. Yes, we were. And the Shanghai crowd looked pretty damn hype, I have yeah. to say. They looked like they were ready to go. The Chinese fans have been starved of some good counter strike over the last what four years. So the return was fantastic. And speaking of returns, we will return after this break. We're going to take a short one, get this one resolved. And as soon as it's ready, we'll bring the game to you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's 5-3 for Navi, and we're straight into the action. Enterprise have just lost out on their opportunity to really get a foothold in this first half. Their money's been broken, they're back down to pistols, and Navi looking to push forward to six. Great opportunity for it, too. Can't imagine that they would they would lose this round to mostly Glocks. A couple of Eagles on board. And yeah, to put a little bit more context after the extended break, the economy of Enterprise has been shattered, not just due to losses, but due to a couple of rounds with saved weapons where players didn't get bonus money. Tao tried to actually go for a 1v4, got two kills, ended up going down after the time, which is why he only has 50 bucks. So just economically speaking, Enterprise uh, has been screwed and ruined in this early, or in this, this, this first half, I should just say, overall. Yeah, it's uh, definitely looking good for Navi at this point, who are now it's, six and three up, and the buy is back. It's taken like three to four rounds for them to like get the economy on the same page among everyone. Yes, for, for Enterprise, yes, absolutely. And so the AK-47s are out on most players, one in particular having to go to Galil, and that's Tau obviously suffering economic tragedy just mere moments ago. Well, in terms of the context of the game, <laughs> about 15 Not, minutes ago, if you reality. take the tech break yeah. out of it, yeah. it was... It was
just mere moments ago. Yep, and Imma, oh my god, okay. Nice try, trying to get out middle through the bottom of connector. Second kill from Friend over the top of the smoke. Navi handed two players dead immediately. Yeah, right out of the gate, that aggression gets completely negated. And it's a shame, really, that Enterprise has had so many money issues in these in these last few rounds because they've been actually putting up a pretty decent fight, all things considered, against Na'Vi. Yeah, they've, they've had some dangerous rounds, some good executes, and just, man, they just got stopped cold. A good chance here in round 10 to rebound. And they should be, unless there's an Alexi B Masterclass coming in here. Multico can come quick, one player at low HP. That could happen real, real fast. Yeah, and he's got utilities, so he's gonna toss out the smoke grenade. Whether or not they respect it is a different story. They will and not. They will not with 100 minute left. They're already through, and Alexi B changes up his position. Oh, he gets a lineup, but it's only one kill. Really needed a second if his teammates had a chance for going for this one, but they didn't get that kill needed, and so they're saving. Yeah, took down the low HP player first, unfortunately. Could yes. just get a stray bullet to catch him while he cleans up the, the other one. So the last two players, Wonderful and Bit, will save the weapons. Good round from Enterprise. Good openings in middle. Good uh, convincing hit towards the B bomb site. No second guessing. And that brings them up to four. And you're right, they are staying in this half still. Yeah. A good chance, actually, to even get six out of it. They could tie the scoreline at the half. They've actually done a really good job in middle whenever, like, Navi's brought bodies there. They've traded them. They haven't just gotten wiped out the way we saw in the previous game. They've actually been able to kind of fight back and hold off the setup. And the only th real things that have that have hurt them is wonderful a couple times with an off pick and able yeah. to fall back and sneak away. But other than that, they've been able to handle all the heat that Navi's brought. Just two rounds back on this T side of Mirage. Crumpled up papers, that strat didn't work. Chuck it to the side, that strat doesn't work. Throw it to the side. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if like that was like a towel he was wiping his hands on, if he got a little sweaty. <laughs> I guess it might be. Yeah, it looks like it's the notes. He's like, all right, the strategy didn't work. Throw it in the bin. Yeah, never run on this one again. <laughs> all right, wonderful with an op peering towards top mid. Alexi over at the B bomb site, one player on catwalk as well. So this time, Navi have a good lock, a good read on what's happening in mid. No one from Enterprise there quite yet to force them back. Here comes a little bit of utility. Does Enterprise want to commit any bodies to the play is the question. And they've actually, pretty much most rounds on this T side, Enterprise has sent Demo over to the B-Halls to just make his presence known for Alexi. Force out a little bit of utility, make it feel like you're going to increase the pressure. They're just making sure that he's always considering the possibility of a B-Hit. Now it is Enterprise about to make the A hit. They've got all the utility just outside of that bomb site, ready for the execute. Tao has a puddle of grenades at his feet, so he'll be able to toss them on out and bam, flash standard. Try and catch Bit blind. Hide behind the triple stack instead of peeking into the open, and now he goes for that peek. It's Bit slicing away two on that initial attack, and. He might be able to clean up a little bit more, especially with the help of Emma towards the top of the stairway, but dang, that nade is perfect. Right over the back of the triple box. It is, but the damage feels like it's done already. Molotov at the plant spot. Friend's gonna have to push forward. No one's actually in there planting the bomb. Good, fine, that's wonderful. And Alexei's stuck behind Ticket. Yeah, look at the demo as well. He's uh, being pretty... Oh, sneaky inside of the smoke. They predicted that possibility, and now Friend is in the clutch, limited time, and he's going to go for that bomb plant in the open, and that is his death sentence. So Alexi B catches him on the peek out ticket. Bit makes a great play. It took a little bit of time for it to come to fruition. Molotov towards the A ramp so he can move from ticket to, to fireboxes and just kind of slide up there. And when the execute comes, it's a counter flash from Ema that allows him and activates him to take the peek and get a double kill. And that's the first two players up the ramp. Those are the guys meant to like create space into the bomb site, and it made that hit real hard to pull off for Enterprise. So good job from Bit, good job from the Navi defense. Nursing a three round lead for the moment and last round of the first half. JL sprinting up middle. He's got some space to play with here, but the flashes, oh, they land right in his face. JL is still able to get one out of it, traded by Friend. Mid control taken by Enterprise. Pretty good work to get mid control yet again. 
this time though, the Navi defense is, is split. No one's playing Khan, no one's playing Window. It's wonderful and bit at the A bomb site. It's Alexi and Ema at the B bomb site. Middle of the map is open. One minute to play with for Enterprise on the attacking side. You can tell how much they want this last round of the half. Very tentative T side round here. Seven five can make a huge difference for your chances in the second half. I think this is. I think they were trying to pull this into a fake. Two coming up a ramp. Two at B halls with the bomb, including a very low HP player. So all eyes on Alexi and how much he gets pulled away. If ever the decision comes into his brain, hasn't moved yet. Not yet. Emma is still standing on this B bomb site. Alexi B has a big brain and he still thinks it's about to be a play towards that B bomb site, but he's taken out. He doesn't have a chance. Buy me gets rid of him. Now Emma piece. Oh, low HP on that second player in. And that should be it now. That should be wrapped up. 15 seconds left. The fake does not work out. Wonderful hears him in the window. Oh, he's got the murder hole on lock. And he's going to drop down in behind cover for some safety. Friend can go nowhere, so he'll attempt to get a headshot but this round is over it's an 8-4 half for navi a strong showing from wonderful and imma but it's overall a, a very good team effort that's a good, good last round from navi as well not getting fooled by that in any way whatsoever that little bit of a fake trying to pull rotators into an early kind of dash Imo is just about getting pulled away but he's not going to take his eyes off the prize doesn't pull knife out and just bail out he just sees it coming at right at the last possible second so eight to four as the team switch side and we'll see what they've got in store for us in the pistol hmm pause is short uh, the pistol will begin here in the second half Dualies on demo Dualies on buy me buy me thank you for that i was about to say baj me Baj, baj me. Onion, <laughs> onion baj me. Yeah. That'll be real good. Right about now. Joel Barretta's. Some of that spicy mint sauce. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be great. A little salty, but I'd love it. Buy me. That's such a sick name, though, if it like, really pops off. And then it's just it's it an is advertisement. It's a pretty solid name, yeah. It's like, buy me, please. Pistols out in force. A bit with the P250. Starts off. Oh, but Joel Barretta's are not going to work out. And oh, buy me. He's gone. Tau. Instead, playing from Ticket, and well, it looks like his is about to be punched because lots of Navi players coming in from multiple different positions. And they've got jungle. Imma has the bomb. Oh my god. Oh, what is happening? Finally, that kill inside of jungle is taken by Imma. Demo <laughs> swing with the dual Barretta's inside of the connector. But remember, the bomb is in jungle. The bomb is away from the pack. This pistol could still unravel. But it's suddenly only demo, and thank God Navi recovered that because that was a bit mental. Yeah, I wonder if he realized he had the bomb or if he just kind of... If he was... It's probably one of those scenarios where you rush into jungle and you're like, I have the bomb? Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we, just, we just don't expect that to happen too often on, at the professional level, but yeah. it, that does happen. I'll, I'll give them the courtesy of the fact that, you know, it's late in the day. They've just had a big tech pause. Well, maybe they just didn't care. Maybe they just really wanted the map control towards jungle, towards window. Either way, yeah, they got a little bit spicy at the end. There were some moments for Enterprise to bring that back in their favor, but the pistol still goes the way of Navi. So now a five-round lead and up against uh, USPs, and that's it. Not a whole lot of runway left for Enterprise on the CT side. No, it, it's starting to look like they're going to have to take off a very small platform. What? We've seen it in Top Gun, man. They can they can do it on a small runway. USPs. Should be melted in just a moment. Navi will be up to 10 rounds, and there's only three away. I'm closing out this game, and I think Navi coming into today, this would be the best case scenario to go 2-0 up. And it really has been a case of all the favorites getting their Ws today. I think it's where the placement of the armor is. You know, you're coming out of sure. Except for NIP. Well, all the top teams have made it through 2-0 to <laughs> today, so... Uh, <laughs> you know, they're coming out of the, the Katowice tournament into this. Sure. You've had groups at, at Blast to warm up to, so... It's it's probably nice and, and warm for the, the top side. Sorry, guys. He was going to back away. He was going to back away. Ooh, okay, Tao. 
That's a nice uh, little USB kill to open things up. Now Wonderful has zoned in on your location, dancing around the sides of the default boxes. There's a push in middle that Eva's going to handle just fine. And now everything's starting to fall in the favor of Navi. Yeah, pistols of the USP variety are all melted away, as you would expect. And it is 10 rounds now for Navi. They're double figures, three away from closing this one and closing out a wonderful day. A wonderful day. Op is out in the hands of Tau. M4 is across the board. Otherwise, no op yet out for Navi on the attack. For some reason, back in the day, Tau used to have a nickname of Tapchan among the Polish community. Tapchan. And I, uh, it means like couch. Couch. Yeah, like sofa bed kind of thing. Okay. So I don't know why. Maybe he just likes chilling on it. That's a bit of a strange <laughs> nick nickname, I guess. I don't know why they call him this. Yeah. Maybe he likes it. Couches. Yeah, they will ask him why, why it was there, but wonderful. No questions asked. He's <laughs> dealt with mid. Two kills locked in. By me, one of the players is dead. And now three alive from Enterprise up against the four of Na'Vi. It feels good for 11. And just similar to the story that we brought up in the first half, it's, it's a position for Enterprise where they're competitive for a little bit. And then the money becomes a problem. And I think that'll be the case here. They lose these three players and Na'Vi got to 11. And after eco in the next round, and now we're looking at twelve. I guess. I guess. The, oh, I was gonna say the nice thing is you have a player on catwalk, but friend has such low HP that I, it almost doesn't even matter. One health. Yeah, I think friend's dead, unless he changes his position and catches. Them looking the wrong way, and that's exactly what happens. He swings into the open, dead to the hand of Emma. But his teammates here have set him up for a two v two. It's Talon exists trying to come back on in this one. Bomb goes down for Navi. That should certainly help and increase their chances of closing out onto 11 rounds. And this short fight, ooh, it matters so much. And Wonderful's hit the headshot without too much issue. Town now forced into the clutch, and it's a question of whether or not he wants to go for it. And it doesn't look like it's too likely of a scenario, but he's hanging around. He wants a mistake. He wants someone to peek before he really commits to it. And no no one's peeking. Yeah, this is well played from Navi. Friend getting one kill with one HP was nice. It looked like it might make this a possible situation, but just Navi handles it perfectly. And Tao's going to have to bail out with the AWP. 11 to 4. Navi just two rounds away from a victory on Mirage to close the day. Terrorists win. Wonderful dies, but Emma survives. So an AK 47 to be perfectly boot. balanced. As all things should be. I just love how Alexi B's had this DJ dubstep all day. Jackie and Vince are saying the, you know, the lore of Alexi B is he, he doesn't come into the studio unless he, he gets to bring his boombox with him. Sure, yeah. You have a boombox growing up, Jason? Of course. Walkman? Yeah, Sony Walkman, yeah? Yeah, you, okay. it was a real technology when you got the... Uh, That's the skip, a boombox, though? The I thought boombox was like the No, thing no, no, it is. Boombox, it's not a wa it's not a boombox, the Walkman. I was okay. just going through a list of all the old things. <laughs> All the, all the devices you used to listen to music on. 120 seconds of skip. Uh, and then one was, day I bought my iPod Shuffle. Yeah, it was revolutionary when you could use a CD player on a bike. <laughs> IV4 set up off the back of that initial kill for Enterprise. They'll be happy to have the opening. But can they hold on to it? That is the question. I don't know. They got it in the previous round as well. And just like the previous round, the follow-up is taken away from them. Good job from Bit with the Mac 10 Yeah, the Mac 10 is so good when you're trying to just be agile. And this is going to end... Uh, this is going... They're going to split the A-bomb site. Oh, that, friend. That oh, oh, friend. Oh, they hear all that as well. Oh, oh it's the worst. God. Not your friend. And that's going to be Bit going through with the Mac 10 again, hopping up into the window for this kill. And this was a 5v4, now turned 3v2, favoring Navi. And Baimi's pushed through the apartments, now going down through the underpass. And JL's out towards the ramp, tossing out that piece of utility towards Demo. So he's stuck behind this corner for a few more seconds. But bomb plant's coming in. Demo hears it. Doesn't deny it. Doesn't go for the swing. And unfortunately, they have to challenge to a certain extent, right? Like, you have to kind of go for this and see if you can get a retake even started. But that's going to put the weapons at risk. Well, time is ticking a little too far now. They don't have a kit on any of the two surviving players here. So at this point, you need some mistakes. You need some overextensions. And even that isn't going to be enough. There's no time for this. They're trying to get away with their lives. But Bit is not letting that happen. I wonder if Bit wants to stick around. He knows the AWP is there. He looked at it earlier. Yeah, he did want it. He did want it. And he's not going to get it. AWP is in the hands of Baimi, and he's going to bail out. So 12 to 4. Navi with eight chances to close this map. 
but there is going to be an AWP in the field of play for Tau. And other than that, some rifles, some SMGs will likely be picked up. So a decent buy for Enterprise. Everyone's got a boombox. <laughs> Love it. Keeps the energy going late into the night. Pretty cool mouse pad there. That's that's what uh, Maddie should get. One that, of those. that one right there? Yeah. Stylish little tie-dye or whatever it's called. 12 to 4, Navi. It was a competitive first set of rounds. Yeah, I think the the economy situation of Enterprise really screwed him in the first half and second half. I think they're they're just straight up getting getting a little outclassed. Harder to kind of manage working and fighting as a team on the CT side when you don't get to choose where the attack is going to push into. And obviously, I mean, they've. I think the big thing in the second half has been losing the man advantages that you give yourself. Getting the opening kill and still not converting those those five on fours has been painful. Yeah, it's been very very unfortunate for Enterprise, but it's kind of what you expect. You know, this is a really inexperienced team. And the fact that they're able to get into advantageous positions versus Na'Vi of opportunities at the start of the first half, take it as a positive about the future for some of these players. Frank goes around the corner. Alexi B is down once again. This is three 5v4s in a row. Mm -hmm. So numbers state that you should win one of those three. Yeah, surely. But numbers sometimes lie. Emma and Bick go together through the underpass. I'll come through bottom middle. 45 seconds remaining this round, and no one from Enterprise is overextending. But this position from by me is about to have a fight on that bench in front of him there's, if they were to hop up. There's an op there as well, though, that could catch him off guard. Oh, good kill for by me. Taken out by Bit. Here's the op, and that's going to land. Friend sends it through the back of Wonderful. Now JL comes out through ramp. This is the next wave of attack, but Tao is the start of the sandwich. I think he's going to enjoy this one. JL, oh my god, he checks it. JL, though, still has to deal with a triple player, and that's going to be too much to handle. Numbers do state that it should be around here for Enterprise. Yeah, not a great percentage, 33% of converting 5 on 4s, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll but work it, our way up. It could get better here because there's not a lot of money for Navi, so it, you probably, with the rounds you've got to play with, I wouldn't imagine Navi want to force by here. So maybe some half buy action coming in? Yeah, half buy on like three players, maybe four players. See what you can do with it. A little bit of, uh, little bit of utility, getting a solid execute in. Good round from Enterprise, doubled Ooh. up in different positions and wonderful. That was good. No restraint. stress, baby. Yeah, that, that was. was. That was a very, very woosa moment. Yeah, he's just letting it all out. Yeah, it's rough here. Wonderful's got 1450. Not a lot of money. So, Navi haven't even really gone for a half buy. No, hoping for a deagle pick. Thin out the herd, see if you can create a gap. You have. JL waiting on the other side in Palace with a Deagle. Emma's got some extra money, so you could buy for Wonderful. And the next? A bomb plant would make this very nice for Navi, but... Yeah, they're buying regardless, but obviously you'll never turn down $800 cash. Exactly, but I just don't think they're gonna... Well, there's a couple of times you would turn down $800 cash. If, if I suggested some of them to you, Jason. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, if you made up a wild scenario. <laughs> I think at this point, though, Navi might just rotting the clock. Bring the time down, under a minute. Couple of kills out middle. Find and exist, getting a few of those, and it's all cleaned up today. Emma's got the deagle inside of the apartments. Bomb it's dropped in mid. Kind of slipped the net of Demo. Mm, yeah, but Demo comes back, catches it, and considers Emma, removes him. All right, 12-6. Get back into the gun rounds, baby. As you mentioned, there was some money on some of the Navi players. They can drop an AK over to Wonderful, so they can be fully kitted out with rifles and get this back underway. Plenty of chances still for Navi to close this out, but I think we're going to get a... It looks like a timeout. Feels like a timeout. It does feel like a timeout. I could be dead wrong, though. Let's take a look at the mouths. They're moving. He's Might taking be. his time with his headset as well. I think it's a timeout. Yeah, it's a timeout. Okay, sure. Okay. Not a tech issue. Everybody's having a conversation. Yeah. Really is the return of Polish Counter Strike, isn't it? We're, we're seeing some. Where did it come from? It was gone for years, and then we got like three brand new teams. So it's like, hi, we're we're here now. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah, we've arrived again. Then we're gonna make it to the playoffs. We're gonna bring a bunch of new players to the RMRs. It's cool to see, and I think after the major, there might be like a nice little shuffle. Maybe we get a really good Polish team. Like, okay. this is obviously great, but you know, have another one. Why not? Yeah, bring one more in.
Polish super team. Round 19 coming in. Friend has the op. Wonderful has an op on his side as well. I'm sure at this point, Navi in this timeout is like, we would love to get an opening kill. We would love to, to not have to convert 4v5. So that was, I'm assuming, an Enterprise timeout led into a Navi timeout. Yeah, and it was like a full minute, yeah. So, wanting to make sure that they close out this game, Navi. Enterprise, seeing how many rounds they can get. Wonderful on the AWP should be the key to unlock getting some of these opening kills. We'll have to wait and see if that's how it's played, though, for Navi. Send JL out towards Palace in his default stance. Deep flashes to allow Friend to take this peak. Wonderful did this to Enterprise a number of times in the first half and got away with it, but Friend doesn't want to stick around as long. Utility deep up mid just to make Navi a little bit nervous. Two in B holes, two passive in middle, once crossing Alexi to the top mid boxes, and obviously JL just hanging out, holding the fort down at the A bomb site. Let's try and golf for us here. Nothing, because the smoke comes in, so he can't look underpass, so he's hoping he can find a short fight, but that isn't coming this way. Imma's gonna stay underpass. The rest of his teammates are now setting up for an attack towards this B bomb site. And then was just jumping, seeing what he can spot. Flash is going to signal that he should move away. Not for a last second jump there, that might have cost him his life, but a bit unable to land that shot. As we head under one minute, Navi still have their eyes on this B bomb site itself. Bit's just done great work baiting out some of that utility. Just showing presence. There's the Molotov as well. They can re-execute as soon as this Molotov expires. Now, this is a timing where they want Ema in the middle, guys, to take some attention away from the B-holes. Yeah, because you got three players rotated over into this B-bomb site, too, for the CT side. So, 35 seconds. Distraction certainly needs to be set up here by Alexi B and Ima. Is it going to happen, though? By me, flash off the angle. Alexi B unleashes. Navi going for the split into the B-bomb site, and it looks like it's going to be enough. Navi about to take themselves to a 2-0 Record here at the RMRs on day one. Tau and Friend left locked outside. And Enterprise has certainly shown us some positive signs, but the flank is about to rip it out of their hands. Flash is sent in. JL, he is connected onto by that flash, but wonderful keeps him protected, and Tau will fall to Alexi B. Navi do get a 2-0 record. They're on to the best of threes for progression, and this is the result they would have expected and would have hoped for. Yeah, just like VP as well. Like, the best you can say at this point doesn't tell us anything different about Navi, but it just straight up says, you know, they got the job done. They, did, took, they came in, they handled business, no real issues whatsoever.